Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys a really cool new program which lets you download homebrews for your PS Vita, PS TV, PS3 and PS4. So these are all homebrew applications. It's basically kind of like no pay station, but it downloads homebrew applications instead. So it's made by um, Mr. Gindini, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But as you can see, it was updated um, today. It hasn't been going for very long. I think the project's been around for about 10 days now. So if you guys are interested, all you would want to do is download the zip file right here and I will show you guys how to set it up. So obviously this GitHub page will be linked in the description of this video and once you have downloaded the zip file you can go to your downloads folder. Now it comes in a zip file just like this so all you would do is just right click and extract it and it's just going to be an exe. So if you double click on the exe it doesn't even ask you to um, set it up or anything like that. The name of it is Sony Homebrew Manager so now to get this thing set up, what you want to do is just click on menu, then go to settings, and this is where you enter in all of the download paths for the homebrew apps. So you will need to have these files. Now I will link these in the comments and the description, uh, just so when once you click on it, um, it will auto download. But yep, so let's just set this up right now. So all you would do, yours would be blank, mine's got stuff in. You just click browse, then select um, PS Vita, which is PSV then select browse on PS3 and select the PS3 one, then select browse on PS4 and select the PS4 one. You then select where you want your files to go out. So this is where, once you download a homebrew program, this is where it will be sent to. Obviously you just choose your downloads folder, click browse, uh, just choose this PC downloads, and then just click on OK. So now we can just close out of this and this is how you would download something. Let's, so let's say I want to get a homebrew app for my PS Vita, you'd click on PS Vita and it would come up with all the homebrew apps that you can download. So let's just choose anything right here. Um, let's just choose, um, I don't know, just Vita Shell for this video. All you would do is collect, select it and then just click download and it's going to download really fast. So as you can see, the download homebrew, downloaded the homebrew successfully. So you can click on OK and they will actually go into this file folder for you. So let's just get a PS3 one as well. Uh, let's just download um, Dex version of RetroArch. Let's just download that real quick. As you can see, some apps are bigger than others. Um, it does download them very fast though. This one's 600 megabytes. Um, I'm just gonna let this download because this is gonna take maybe like a minute. So RetroArch is nearly finished and there you go, Homebrew has been downloaded, so we can just click on OK. There's also some PS4 Homebrews, um, there's only this right now, I'm not actually sure what this is, I'm not really familiar with PS4 Homebrews, um, so I'm not going to download that one, so let's just close out of it. So once you have downloaded everything you wish, let's just minimise out of this, it's going to put it in this file folder for you. Now this file folder will appear wherever you chose to download the programs to, so you could have chosen your documents or your desktop, I just chose my downloads. So if you go into it, it's going to have all the categories. Now we got a PS Vita VPK, so we can go into that, go into this one, and here it is. That is the Vita Shell VPK that we just downloaded. And then we also got RetroArch for the PS3, so we can find that in here. And as you can see, it's in a package format. So very nice program um, for downloading um, homebrew apps very easily uh, without having to browse Google. Now this has only been around for 10 days, so obviously it doesn't have every single homebrew app on there, uh, but more are definitely going to be added in the future. There's also a donate button if you appreciate this guy's work, so you can donate him on a PayPal. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys this really simple homebrew program because I think it's pretty cool and it's a really good way of getting homebrew apps um, you know, really easily. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.